why should you know, the same probiotic strain of some bug that lives in milk like to you know live in you and me mm. it, it doesn't it's unlikely so i think we're going to see a, a whole new suite of these probiotics that might be more tailored to people who have particular um, types of other communities so it it needs more work is mm. is, is basically saying but i think the theory is there in general they work what you can't predict is whether they're going to work for you mm. and which types to to go for therefore i'd much rather people you know took kombucha or kefir which have 15 or 20 different microbes in them you you can smell that they're in them you can see them fermenting you know it's real you know because the stuff a lot you buy you don't know if it's dead or alive mm. or anything mm. so i think that's where we should be eating those regularly and and, and thinking preventively <laughs>